Okay guys, here's the high pressure fuel pump with the housing and the front pulley connected. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take it apart, clean it, and connect the new fuel pump to it. So you have four screws in the front, size 13, four in the back, one, two, three, four, size 13. And once you take out the pulley, you're gonna need a socket 36 millimeter. And I'll show you that once we get there. In this video, we're gonna talk about how did we know the fuel pump was bad, signs of a bad fuel pump, and the story of what happened here. Okay guys, all the screws are off, four in the front. The front piece use silicone. The back piece does not. All four screws on the back are loose and removed. Same in the front. Now, I'm gonna take out the front piece. Got a little silicone, so you just gotta wiggle it until you get it out. And then I'll show you the next step. So first step, after you remove all the screws, let's remove this piece. So I use a big screwdriver like this, guys. Kind of like a pry bar. And put it like this. It kind of tap it until it moves. And it's going to make a space there. Just keep working it. Be patient. Don't hit it with a hammer or anything like that because you could crack it. This house in right here is brand new. It was cracked. And... This was replaced, so this is a brand new housing. This was $650. And I'll explain why this is new and the pump is old in a second. Let me just take it apart first. There you can see, I wiggle it enough to separate it. And that's the first part. the first part so I usually get a razor blade scrape all the silicone off once the silicone is off get a little metal brush just go through it make sure everything's nice and clean use a little brake fluid clean it expect it nothing's broken or cracked and we'll install it again so now that you're here the next step Make sure you got these removed. It's in the. Let's see if I get a better angle here. We gotta take that nut off. Which holds that piece right there. We gotta take that nut off. You need a 36 millimeter socket. So we could take that gear drive off. If you don't remove this, the housing does not disconnect from the fuel pump. Thirty six millimeter. Same one I use for my fuel filter. So let me loosen that off and go. I'm gonna hit it with the impact gun, air compressor. Um, so let's hit it real quick. Okay guys, very important. It has here and here the holes so you can set your screw. If you take this bolt down, you take it off, and the drive is still not loose, don't panic. If you take it to the dealership, they're gonna charge you $150 to $200 just to take off this drive gear. And 
all they do is separate it. It has to come forward. So, this is what you're going to need and what I would suggest. Guys, Hyper Freight, $15. You're going to get this. Set it here. Grab your long screws. Once you're putting one in each side in your metal piece, use this piece and pull it out. Very simple. So don't get intimidated. $15 Harbor Freight. And that's all you need. Now I'm going to hit it with uh, my compressor is about 180 PSI. So let's see what happens. It's a bolt, it's got a washer. Make sure you get those out. Don't drop it, don't lose it. Set it up. Okay guys, after you set this in place to your drive gear centerpiece, this is a 14. And here I just use old nuts that I have for spacers. Just to give you an idea of stuff you could use so you don't use 50,000 washers. And that's all you need right there. So now take these off. Take this off. And your gear is loose. So once you separate your fuel pump from the housing your gear drive will come off. $15 Harbor Freight works. There's your pump, your housing, drive gear. I use the same screwdriver and just went in between and wiggle it, making sure it was even and just keep wiggling, be patient with it, it'll come out. It's a tight fit. Don't stick it in between and pry it because you're gonna damage your new pump, which is almost $3,000. And your housing is $650 new. So just be patient with it. Put it, wiggle it, it'll come out. Now that everything's taken apart, clean it. Take the silicone off, expect Inspect your drive gear, make sure everything is good. It's not broken, no teeth are missing. Clean it, and then we'll go to install the new fuel pump. Okay guys, the silicone's all off. Now what I'm gonna do, is get some brake cleaner, and just clean everything off. Get a little wire brush, and just make sure everything's nice and smooth and clean. And once it's all clean, inspect it, make sure nothing's broken, and then we're ready to assemble. Hey guys, that's the housing. Nice and clean. Gear drives, nice and clean. That's the new pressure pump. So we're gonna install, install it now. And I guess the hardest part is this one here. On a Max Force 13, it's pretty much plug and play. You don't have to worry about timing or anything like that.
Almost there. We're gonna pick up the pump. Put it there. And put the bolts in. And then I'll flip it over and show you the other part in the front. The pump alone is like 40 pounds, so it's kind of hard to record and install at the same time. Okay, guys, the back housing is connected to the fuel pump. Four screws, all nice and tight. Now we're going to do the gear drive. So we got to put the washer, the bolt, and then we're going to tie it down. Remember, you don't need... A certain alignment or timing on a Max Force 13. So let's do that now. All right, guys, just hit it with the impact. Nice and tight. Shouldn't be able to turn it once it's tight. Now for the front, we're gonna put some silicone, gray silicone. Connect this. And that's all you need. Let's see how it looks. Okay, guys, that's the part connected. The new high pressure fuel pump, housing, and the front pulley. And it's ready to go back on the truck. That's the old one. So what happened with the old one was, let me see if I can, you guys see those bubbles? Those are the cracks. It's like a hairline crack. You see that? But that's enough to have it leaking. So, signs of bad fuel pump leaking from the hydraulic pump, or if you hear a ticking noise, if you hear a ticking noise, shut off your truck. Um, that's a sign of bad fuel pump, high pressure fuel pump. And if you want to confirm that, you check your uh, fuel filters. If you have metal shavings in them, your pump needs replaced. So one sign. Hairline crack you barely see it i mean you just saw the bubbles a couple minutes ago but it looks like it's brand new so one sign it's going to be leaking um to set up an engine code if the hydraulic pump is making that ticking noise it might still be able to run the truck with no engine lights or anything like that, you're just gonna hear it. In that case, shut it off, because if you get metal shavings into your fuel injection and your tank and everything, it's just because of a bigger problem. So shut it off and uh, check your fuel filters. If they got metal shavings in it, your fuel pump is bad, replace it. Now, for parts. I use a company named Tamarex. Uh, they're based out of South Carolina. Um, don't matter what state you're on, they overnight every piece they have. Great people. Um, better customer service. I mean, a lot of places you go buy a part and the guy selling you the part don't know nothing about the truck or car. All they do is punch keys. So these guys are very knowledgeable. Great service. Great people. That's the part number. And again, 
Temerex Diesel Productions, based in South Carolina. Great people. Quality parts.